Hey, hey, all right. We are back at Lexington, about to uh, test out this health on a kill build so I can show you how strong this really is. So let's get in here and get this going. This is unchallenging, so hopefully it works out all right, but I think we should be okay. She's the one who organized the escape to Manhattan. I like to come over here and get a little bit of cover. Let's try this here. Well, actually, I'm going to piss them off and let them shoot me a little bit. All right. Get them out first. But I want to. I want to do some damage. We're going in on your heels. I want to get some. Get some health back. That's that's what I'm trying to do. Come on. I'm gonna pulse it yet. Let me get this health. Boom. Let me that health come back. Boom. Health coming back. Oh, that's regenerating. It's still coming back. Looking pretty good. Damage is pretty straightforward. Now I'm, I'm back at full health again. And as soon as you hit full health with the Nomad, you start to go into that overheal. So it it works out pretty good. And see, as you can see, I'm still over, you know, just regenerating. And that was that. No med kits, no heals, no nothing. I'm good to go. Straightforward, easy peasy. So, hope that helped out, guys. Now let's get into the actual build itself. Hey, what is up everyone? The LDB is back at it again. Today coming at you with a breakdown on my Nomad build that uh, revolves around health on a kill. And this is a absolute beast. This is, uh, for survivability, I mean, this is actually absolutely ridiculous. So, um, if you haven't uh, already, check out my crit build for the Nomad. That thing is powerful as hell. But uh, this has a lot more sustainability. So if you find this video helpful in any way, if you're new to the channel, definitely smash that like button, subscribe for future content, and uh, drop a comment down there. Let me know what you're thinking about this build. So let's get into it. All right, everyone. So here it is. Now, as you can see, the firearms is at 7,600. The stamina is at 5,100. And the electronics is at 2,900. Um... Uh, if you notice that, well, if you've seen my other video on the Nomad, on how to max out your crit chance and damage, uh, you'll see that this is actually fairly similar to it. It, it, it kind of came out roughly the same way, uh, even though it's going all towards health on a kill on this build, and the other one was a crit build. Uh, it, I guess it's just kind of how I play and how Nomad works for me, but uh, again, my point being is don't be afraid of that 442,000 toughness. If you're roughly around 450, you should be decent. This build has a lot of resilience to it. You know, um, you get that constant heal coming back as well as, you know, having one or two lives, maybe three lives, depending how lucky you are, as well as this massive amount of health on a kill that I'm going to show you how to get today. So let's get into that. First, let's go over the skills and talents really quick. I'm going to be using a Scrambler Pulse because I've been going into uh, skirmish mode for the most part, a little bit of Dark Zone with this, and I just feel like if they don't see you coming, that's a very, very good thing. If this can conceal you and then all of a sudden you just pop out, well, element of surprise is everything, right? So um, if you're going to be going into PvE, I say just go with a Recon Pack Pulse because it has a very low cooldown and still has pretty good uh, crit hit chance and damage on it. Now, I'm just going to be going with my first aid uh, overdose here. You could use your booster shot, whatever, um, personal preference, whatever works for you. Um, now, I'm going to be using the recovery link for my signature. So, moving on to the talents. Uh, again, adrenaline and critical save. I've gone over these in uh, pretty much all my videos lately. But um, if you're new to it, basically... Um, this is a double whammy here. Medkit gives you 7 seconds of immunity from status effect, as well as giving you a 20% damage resistance for 10 seconds, you know, just for popping a medkit. So that's that's a big thing. Now, if you're running with a group, combat medic is always good to use. But uh, other than that, I'm going to be using on the move, kill a hostile while moving to reduce incoming damage by 15% for 10 seconds. So again, with that I guess you could say lower toughness, you're getting a lot of little buffs here and there, and I haven't even got into the character sheet or the uh, resistances, so hold on for that. Now, the one is none, uh, that's probably one of my favorites, headshot a hostile to have 50% chance of not consuming the bullet, awesome talent to have. Now, 
let's take a look at the weapons because that is pretty much key for maximizing this as much as you can. Uh, the house that I am going to be primarily using, I have two of them on here. One for just straight up raw damage and then I have one uh, that gives you that extra health back because it has predatory on it. Killing a target regenerates 35% health over 20 seconds. Now a lot of people say well it's over 20 seconds but what I've noticed is when this procs you get a good chunk of it back right away and then it kind of just dwindles and you you, you kind of you know slowly get the rest of it back. But you have to remember as well on the Nomad build you're constantly getting a little bit of uh, you know health regen no matter what so this kind of helps that out as well as giving you that extra 35% health over time uh, Now I also have deadly and card counter on it obviously so this thing really does shred now the other house that I have um, Has hurried deadly and card counter again. It's the same one that was on my crit build and you know again I'm gonna stress it again this hurried talent is awesome Crit hits increase reload speed by 10% to a minimum of one second reload time. You know, like I was saying, going into skirmish mode, dark zone, this is an awesome thing to have. Just try it out if you ever get it. But those are really the weapons that predatory is really key. I was going to go for a sustained, um, but I tried it a little bit and it just, it wasn't, you know, that 6%, whatever, is just, it, it's not enough. Um, this 35% over time, you get a bigger chunk and then it starts to, you know, refill your health a little bit more alongside what your nomad is already doing so that's why i pick predatory uh, now going on to the actual build because we need to go over all this good stuff um, i'm sure we all know what nomad does but let's just skim over the two piece gives you that 15 percent health on a kill the uh, three piece gives you that uh, constant small amount of healing allowing the user to regenerate all segments of health during combat the four piece gives you Path of Nomad. When receive, receiving fatal damage, you are instead healed to full health. Can occur once every four minutes, and then you get that extra 10% health on a kill. So we should be sitting at 25% health on a kill, just base damage on there, or uh, base health on a kill, I should say. Um, and then you also get Improved Nomad's Resolve, um, which lets you now overheal. And you know that's a great thing. I mean, that's that's one of the best things about this build, if you ask me. Um, now, Nomad's Luck, you get 50% chance to have no cooldown for Path of Nomad. So, if one that's triggered, you know, 50% chance, and you know, you're not going to have that 4 minute cooldown. And you also take 60% less damage for 10 seconds when it is triggered. So, again, this is an awesome build. I love Nomad. This is, it's always been a good build for me, and now this thing is just super strong. So, uh, let's look at the actual uh, specs that I have for everything here. Uh, the chest piece is rolled for stamina with health, uh, health on a kill, health and ammo capacity on there. I have uh, two firearms with health mods on there. The mask is rolled for firearms with health on a kill and burn resistance. Again, just we're we're gonna be basically stacking that health on a kill wherever we can, to uh, you know just like we would crit for anything else. Uh, and then this has a firearms with skill haste mod on it. So we're, we're going for a little bit of skill haste, uh, just so that if we do need our, our heal, it's there, it, you know, the pulse comes back instantly, <laughs> it works out real nice. Uh, the knee pads here rolled for stamina with 8% crit hit damage. We got bleed, shock, and disorient resistance, that's the main reason I use these, because, again, we're getting those resistance up across the board, so that, again, that 442,000 toughness is not, it's not a big deal, not a big deal. Um... I also have another firearms with skill haste mod on here with a 5.5% first aid self heal mod. And the holster is rolled for firearms mainly, but it has a pretty good, uh, you know, numbers across the board there. Uh, and this is also rolled for that skill haste. I, I was going to go for crit chance or whatever, but I figured the skill haste would be a little bit better. And after I tested it, it definitely is. Uh, again, getting that pulse back real quick is, is a big thing. Uh, and that 5.5% uh, first aid self heal mod on there as well. Now these gloves are awesome. I love these gloves. Um, they are rolled for firearms with SMG damage. Another 5% health on a kill with 17% crit hit damage. So I, I lost the crit chance, but it makes up for it at the end if you take them down and you get that health on a kill. It, it really, this is this, this is an awesome build. Um, now the backpack is rolled for firearms with health and bleed resistance. Again, I just left that bleed resistance because we're trying to get 
all of our resistance up as much as you can. I could always re-roll that for ammo if need be, but it is what it is right now, and it has been working. So, uh, the firearms mod that I have on there is another uh, skill haste mod, and I have two more 5.5% first aid self-heal mods. So when I pop my heal, it works pretty good, and I get them back fairly quickly with the skill haste. So, that's pretty much how I put that together. Now let's take a look at the character sheet, because this is pretty important. Uh, the weapon damage crit chance is very low, 28%. The other house that I have that is uh, fully optimized is higher, obviously, but it, the crit hit chance is pretty low. That's why I'm running a pulse, uh, to get that up as much as possible. Now, the crit hit damage is still over 100% and is higher for my other house, the damage house, I guess you could say. Um, but again, you're still over that 100%, so you're doing double damage when that crit hit actually hits. And the headshot damage to 55%. Got a little bit of accuracy, a little stability, whatever. Um, reload time could be better, got, but I do have a little bonus on there. All weapon damage bonus is 20%. Um, you know, so we're doing pretty good there, as well as we got that 12% SMG damage on there. Um, and the health on a kill, here's the key right here 40%. 40%. Not too bad. I'm not. Uh, I'm not too mad at myself for getting that because when you put that together with predatory, okay. So you're at 40% here plus 35. You're at 75% health on a kill. 75%. That's why I went for uh, predatory instead of sustained because we'd only be at 46% here instead of, uh, in, you know, in the 70s. So th that's that's a huge thing right there. Um, you know, that 75% health on a kill is huge, and if you use it, I promise this is not going to let you down. I also have 16% skill haste, so, I mean, it's not a whole lot, but, like I said, I get the pulse back, I get my heal back very, very fast, and, uh, that helps out a lot. Um, the survivability, you know, again, toughness and the health is not the, the best. Uh, the armor is, uh, mitigating almost 32%, so we're getting up there with that. But really, you know, that's about it. We got some bleed resistance on there at 45%. I, I got some pretty high bleed resistance because I've been noticing a lot of Predators haven't been using the full 9,000 for some reason. I don't know why. You need to take advantage of that for all, the, all you Predators watching. That sounded bad. But for the Predators that are watching... Um, you know, you need to have that 9,000 because that ignores the bleed resistance. If I have this much bleed resistance and you put a bleed on me and, you know, you're just back into firearms, it doesn't it doesn't hurt too bad. I have a little bit of uh, burn resistance here. we got some disorient resistance as well as shock resistance. Finally, I know I've been uh, on a lot of my builds, I'm lacking the shock resistance, but I got it. So I basically go for shock, burn, and bleed. Those are the top three that I go for um, and... It works out very nicely. The disorient and disrupt, I mean, yeah, it screws you up for a second, but it usually goes away pretty quickly. The blind def, uh, you know, again, that's very fast. It goes away. If you're bleeding, that's not good. If you're burning, that's not good. If you're shocked and you can't move, that's not good. If you can't see for a half a second, that I mean, it is what it is. Um, but other than that, I mean, that's really it, guys. Um, you know, it works out really nice, and I hope this helped you out. Um, try it out and let me know what you're thinking about all this um, and uh, you know leave a comment down there and let me know what's up um, so if you did enjoy this video if it did help you out at all smash that like button subscribe for future content and uh, drop a comment down there like I said and you know, just let me know what's up how you're running this um, if you're going more towards the the crit or uh, if you're going for the health on a kill, I just wanted to exploit the health on a kill as much as possible, like I was doing with like my striker set. I, I use the stability as much as I can and all that with uh, the big Alejandro and the stacks and everything. It just That's what gave me the idea, was just try to exploit the build for what it has on there as much as possible. So, again, if you liked it, if you enjoyed it, smash that like button, subscribe, and uh, I will see you next time, guys. Until then, take it easy. Later.